Frank, hands down, let's not kid ourselves. Yeah, but who's number two? And my number two was Louis Prima. Louis Prima? Louis Prima? You got Perry Como? Perry Como was a bopper. So? You got Perry Como, Julius La Rosa, <laughs> Jimmy Roselli. Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Bobby Darren, come on, back to night. Bobby right? Darren. Huh? Bobby D. All right. Bobby Darren. Who's Dion? Dion. 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 You got Paul Anka who wants to be Italian. What about Sammy Davis? Sammy Davis is black. Now we're talking Italian. Listen, listen. Come on, you know why he walked like an Italian. Stop the scene. I think we're missing the point. Who's the singer? Johnny fucking Slade. That's it. Hey, Johnny, Johnny Slade. 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 Johnny Slade. Johnny Slade. Johnny Slade. Johnny Slade. Yeah, right. Johnny Slade. Who the fuck is Johnny Slade? You never heard of Johnny Slade? Oh, it's a nice to pop a cherry on the top of your cake. It's a nice to give you a hey. glass of milk, a shake. I want to squirt whipped cream all over your Sunday, oh, my dear. Just step up to the soda fountain of love. I'm so happy just to have you come and sit on my stool. And every time I think of serving you with soda, it makes me drool. I will always be your precious soda jerk, my love. Just step up to the soda fountain of love. Will I fall in your trap if you press on my tap? Oh, I am just another sap who can run. Will you put me through hoops if I taste your double scoops? Or will you call off the troops and have some fun? It's impossible to reach over the counter from where you sit. I will always give to you a chance to make my banana split. No one says we have to play by the rules, my dear. Just step up to, yeah, step up to, step up to this soda fountain. This guy was so great. How come he never made it big? Oh, he made it big all right, but well, just not in the usual way. Let's just say he did it his way. You fucking guys are breaking my balls. <laughs> We're not busting your balls. You got some time, right? You want to hear the greatest story of Johnny Slade? The story of Johnny Slade and Frank. Sinatra? No, not Sinatra. Frank Giannini. D. Frank Giannini? Right, D. Frank Giannini, Giannini right? Now sit back, relax. And I'm going to tell you one of the greatest stories you're ever going to hear. You know what, guys? I love you, but I heard this story a hundred times. Me too. I got to go. I know. I know. I What was that all about? See what you started? All right, listen to this. A couple of years back, Johnny goes out, sings a couple of dives. He makes a couple of albums, but nobody's buying them. I mean, he couldn't get a break. This guy was cold. This guy was so cold that if a penguin walked into the club he was playing at, would freeze his fucking balls. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Don't forget to tell your friend. Can't do it. Johnny. This Can't do it. Come on, they ate you with a spoon. Which one? The guy passed out of the one staring with blank indifference. Blank indifference. Why am I always the glass half full guy? You see blank indifference. I see a man studying every lyric so he can glean exactly what the song is saying. It's a love song. I know it's a love song. It's a beautiful love song. The whole imagery thing. Whipped cream, cherry on top, double scoops. Jerry, I, I, I can't do this anymore. Can't do what? What are you saying? What are you talking about? Johnny, this is your life. No, don't tell me that, Jerry. This is my life. You want me to commit suicide or something? Plan empty dives? Johnny, wait a minute. I've got a wonderful surprise for you. I got you a gig. <laughs> oh, how pathetic is it when your manager announces a gig like you hit the fucking lottery? Whoa, hold me back. I'm speechless. Johnny, this is not just a gig. This is an opening. A beautiful room in a magnificent new club. What's it called? The club. Come on, Jerry. The guy who owns it. He's very big. Very important. Well, why does he want me? 
Why does he want you? What kind of attitude is that? Because you're Johnny Slade, that's why. See, I'm always the glass half full guy. Why does he want me, Jerry? Come on. Well, he heard about you, you know. Oh, really? He heard about me from what? Albums, Johnny. He's got one of your old albums. Which one? I'm there for you, baby. Really? Yeah. Wants me to open? Swear to honest to God, he wants to meet you tomorrow. Johnny. This could be the jumpstart you need. Jumpstart? I need a V8 and a new set of radials. So Johnny drives way out to Jersey. I mean, way the fuck out in Jersey. Yeah, so far the fuck away in Jersey that if somebody goes out there, they usually end up in the jackpot. Gabish. So Johnny's starting to wonder, what the fuck is going on here? This is not just a gig. This is an opening. The guy who owns it is very big, very important. Well, what does he want me? I'm not Samantha. He's in there. Should I go in there? You want to go see him? I'm here to see him. Well, why don't you go in there then? <clears throat> don't knock. Mr. Samantha, I'm... Sit down. Say it's my dream club. I'm looking for a singer to open up for me. Any questions? No, not at all. Listen, Mr. Samantha, I can't tell you how happy. I expect you to do a good job and sing every word clearly. Clearly? Oh, yeah. My diction's impeccable. You what? It's very important that the audience understands every word. They have to get all the lyrics, as you people call them. I find lyrics very important, don't you? I'm there for you, baby. You what? I'm there for you, baby. Not always, not once. Not don't sing to me. <sighs> don't ever sing to me. OK, Mr. Smith. I will not stand for a man singing to me. It won't happen again. There's something very disturbing about it. You know, I'm not really crazy about it myself. It's just that, you know, that, that song. I know you like that one. I like what? That album, I'm There For You, Baby. <laughs> What the fuck album is this? Well, it's mine. I mean, I know that's the reason that you hired me, right? Because of that. Some people told me that uh, they think they heard of you. Oh. That's, that's very flattering. Yeah. Learn this song. You gonna sing it tonight? My Funny Stupid Shoes? That's what it's called? <laughs> no, that's good. That's catchy. Um... Is there any music that goes with this? What music? What do you mean music? You're the singer. You put the music to it. Well, how does it go? That's what I hired you for. The, the band is going to need some kind of music. I mean, we, we, we need to rehearse this. We need to set a beautiful arrangement. Here's what I'm paying you per week. Oh, OK. Here's for the manager, Charlie Payne. And make sure you read the dedication. Oh, yeah. Vegas cats think they got it made If they only knew they're missing I'll be in Johnny's laid 
Johnny Slade, paging Mr. Johnny Slade. Hey, I'll get that boy. <laughs> Just kidding. Can I help you, sir? Tulips times four. That says menage a four. I'm Johnny Slade, you goose. Supposed to recognize you, I give up. Tulips times four off my epic white album. Missed that one, huh? I think I did. Wasn't that the Beatles? What's that? The white album. Wasn't that the Beatles? You think? The Beatles are the only ones to save on printing costs. Why don't you show me to my quarters there, Beechwood? Oh, Let's go. Short eyeballs. <laughs> not bad. I hope you find the room comfortable, Mr. Slade. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. It's a little on the, uh, a little doily, but that's okay. It'll do. You all set there, Beechwood? You take yeah, exact sure. change? Yeah, sure. Right, here you go. You know, uh, Thanksgiving's on a Thursday this year. It is? <laughs> All right, why don't you hit the bricks? I'm gonna regalvanize for the big night. Thanks a lot. Nice. I'll see you. That must be Charlie Payne. I'll give it the old one, too. Johnny Slade, Marmalade, Gatorade, just another household name. Huh? I am on the cusp of a new sexual frontier, like Lewis and Clark. Stick with me, and I'll show you worlds you never dreamed existed. Oh, let me guess. You're the singer. Oh, that's a good ear you have. Band's over there. You go on at 8 Sharp, Red Peters opens for you. Mr. Samantha gave me a song. Um, just a word of caution, Johnny. Since you're new here and you didn't know this, but around here, there is no Mr. Samantha. See, he's kind of like a silent partner, you know? So it's best if you just consider me the owner and, heck, you don't even need to mention his name. Ever. From your lips to Johnny's ears. You know, with this song, what I think I'll do is I'll give do it you a... you not understand how much I don't give a shit right now? Am I not being perfectly clear with my expression of total and complete disinterest in your songs? There's a spark of something, huh? I can tell. I seem to touch some kind of nerve in you. Hey, I was thinking maybe after my... Oh, look, that is not gonna happen, so don't even go there, all right, Johnny? What I was gonna say was, after my set, I would turn in early. It's been a very long day, but I'm very fascinated you thought along those lines just now. Hmm. Oh, yeah. There you are. Laid out before me like statues of cool on the Mount Olympus of jazz. Listen, I dig your stuff, okay? And your stuff is sure as hell digging me. You are so hot, you're cool, and so you're so cool, you're hot. To say you sound as crazy is crazy itself, you know? So lock me away. You should all be punished in the best possible way. And I've got just the tonsils to do so. Did Jerry Boy come through for you or did he not? <laughs> what the hell is this? What the hell is what? What the hell is this? This, this. My funny, stupid shoes. What is this? You tell me you know nothing about this. New song for tonight, no music. He wants you to sing this? Yeah. Jerry, it's awful, man. It's like Engelbert Humperdinck on crack. Johnny, I swear on a stack of babies, I didn't know anything about this. It's no problem, is it? I mean, you can't sing it, right? <laughs> Johnny, this is your big comeback. Right here, I can smell it like a cake with flowers. Hey, look, don't you think I know that, man, huh? That's why I get scared when someone throws a corkscrew at my eye like this. You know how I feel about doing my own material, Jerry. Do I know? You're asking me, do I know? Johnny, if you'd done a cover once, just once, anything, fucking Amore, man, the gigs we could have had. I do not now, nor will I ever sing a cover tune, man. That is not Johnny Slade. Well, surely you're not calling this a cover. Johnny. The only way this would ever qualify as a cover is if someone actually performed it prior to tonight, see? As opposed to merely scribbling it on a stained piece of paper. What is that, by the way? I'm hoping it's tea. 
Nah, nah, this is a nice place, huh? Yeah. You know, I've been thinking about ending every sentence with, like a fucking monkey. He sings tonight, right? Like a fucking monkey. Hey, play the fuck through. Come on, hit the bricks. So now the big night rolls around. It's Johnny's debut, and he bangs the joint out. I mean, the place is packed. Everybody there and their mother. I mean, all of a sudden, this guy's got some foul. Bob, do me a favor. Don't move the fucking seat, please, all right? Oh, Mika, look at this place, huh? I don't understand why Frank doesn't use one of his strip clubs like a fucking monkey. Because the feds know he owns them, you moron. Oh, yeah. And by the way, that like a fucking monkey, it doesn't work after every sentence. No? no. Punctuation? No, no punctuation. No. You think I should drop it? Drop it. Lou Genova just arrived. Good. Stick with him. Let's see who he makes contact with. Welcome to the club. Hello, welcome to the club. Ladies room is back that way. Welcome to the club and stuff. Oh, <laughs> interesting name. The club and stuff. How about Barney's club and stuff? You know, come on down to Barney's club and stuff. By the way, what is the owner's name, actually? Charlie Payne. Me. And were you making fun of me just then? Oh, gracious, no. I'd sooner choke an ostrich. Hey, Johnny, who's that woman at the door? She welcomed me to the club and stuff. Charlie Payne? She's the manager. Uh -huh. Jerry, you do know something about this place. Jerry? Jerry, you do know something about this of place, Of course right? I do. Not that much, not really. Is Johnny Slade singing here? Uh, Johnny Slade, yeah. Well, you mean to tell me that you've actually heard of him? I have all his albums, including some he hasn't made yet. Mm. It is my embarrassment to be something of a groupie. Yet I'm not homosexual in any way. Oh, get going, Smiley. You're making me nervous. You're my manager, for Christ's sake. You're supposed to look out for me. How do, how, how do we get this gig? The guy came up to me. What guy? That guy. Johnny, if this goes well, I am seriously thinking of selling the used car lot. That's how confident I am right now. Hmm. Al Coletti, Steve Levante. Blues crew. Very nice. Red Peters. I love this guy. What a bonus. Anyone alive? Huh? Apparently not. All right. I'm Red Peters. Uh, I've been elected to open things up here at the club. Uh, elected, which, which is paid. Uh, what do you think of that name, the club, huh? Took 12 focus groups to come up with that name. Can you believe that? I'm thinking of changing my name to The Comic. After that, I'll be the drunk at That's the bar. Long, buddy. 30 years in show business tonight. Are you ready, Slick? Red's almost done. Don't do it. Don't do it, sugar. I can tell what you're going to do. What am I going to do, smart guy? Wish me luck. I can see it on your lips. Save it for a starving child, Charlie. I'm just a singer. I bring joy, not food. <laughs> you are such an asshole. But likable, right? Admit it, you like me. I can almost stomach you. <sighs> Progress. I'll take it. Hey, speaking of projectile vomiting, <laughs> only kidding. I'll tell you folks, we have a terrific new singer here tonight. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> He's here courtesy of Smelt Records. Uh, Svelte Records, excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a warm welcome for Mr. Johnny Slade. The yours for those, dickhead. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Just a little pawn and some lousy game of checkers Making fancy moves as you king me with your smile King me, even though we're bowling King me, as my balls are rolling Straight toward your pins of love Jump me, even though it's ping pong Jump me, cause I'm not some ding dong Jump me, or I'll be forced to take your queen. A taste of Fanny, farmer candy. 
A taste of pussy Willow tree It's not about the pasta You cook in your bar It's not about the rasta When your hair's in a knot I don't need no poker season in my pants Take my life, blood, always pay up in advance Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much tonight, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. This next song is something a little different for us. My grocery list. I want to send this next number out to two, two very special ladies, Alice and Steph. Shoes. My funny, funny shoes They always seem to lose Oh, stupid, stupid shoes Shoes They're always underfoot And sometimes they've got soot them, my stupid loser shoes. Bones, the dice of life we throw, and seeing as we owe so much, those melancholy shoes. with the greatest ease an extra set of knees are yours you funny stupid shoes shoes you're tripping on your lace and you could break your face you funny, stupid shoes. So, for most of the set, Johnny bombs as usual. But until he gets to that stupid shoe song Mr. Samantha wrote for him, he gets the best response he ever got since his first blowjob. Give me a break. The crowd really went for that stuff. Yeah, they did. Hey, thanks a lot there, Skittle Bop. Tell you what, leave the whole urn. Thank you. Well, if it isn't Phony Bennett. Ah, my sacrificial angel of love. Listen to this. Flamboyant Jimmy Santos, better known as Jimmy Shoes, was assaulted last night as he emerged from Benny's Casino on the boardwalk. The longtime professional gambler and odds maker had both legs broken in what is believed to be a gang-related attack. The hospitalized Santos refuses to identify his assailants. Wow. You can read. I just lost a bet. No, I mean, it's funny, you know? Shoes? Shoes. Huh. I mean, that song from the other... Never mind. He wants to see you. What? Oh, Mr. Silent Partner. Mr. Can't even say his name. So what you think of the set, Lou? It was all right. I thought it was a little goofy. Can I go right in? Go right in. I'll go right in. Good morning, Mr. Samantha. Sit down. You mind if I stand? I got a little, um... Do whatever the fuck you wanted to. Why should I care? Thanks. I heard you were good last night. I was. How'd the last song go? Great. Mm -hmm. I heard you sang a word for word. I'm very good with words. Oh, I know. Addiction. Too bad you couldn't have been there. Yeah, well, I got on good, uh, well, something or other that went over very well. Besides, the results I count. I don't need to hear any singing. Results? <sighs> yeah, never mind. Here. What's this? See, you know, it's some. New song? 
What, what, what about funny shoes? Forget it. It's out. Yeah, but, but it went over really well. I know. I wrote it. But you never got to hear it. You'd be it's really proud. Out. Let's do this one tonight. You want me to learn a new song every night? Oh, you're going to learn a new song every five minutes if I want you to, as long as I'm paying you. <laughs> My elephant's wet. Who cares? What the fuck? Listen, I'm sorry. I mean, <laughs> what the gosh darn does my elephant's wet mean? You don't have to know what it means. You just have to sing it. But how can I put my heart into something if I don't know what I'm saying? Why not? Everybody else does. But if I only can know what it means. You think I really give a fuck whether you know what it means or not? Just sing it! Mr. Samantha, have you ever written songs before? Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Johnny Slade. Love the shoe song, especially the part about the extra knees. Very funny. <laughs> Can't have too many knees. <laughs> That's a good one, all right, huh? See you tonight. Yeah, we wouldn't miss it. <laughs> hey, got a new song for us to do tonight. It's called My Elephant's Wet, Who Cares? Thank you. Thank you very much. This last tune goes out to Vicky. My elephant's wet, who cares? Though he's trying to walk up them stairs When he opens his big fat trunk He's gonna get quite a dunk My elephant don't have no sense hey, Somebody to say he's dense He deserves whatever he gets Cause an elephant hey, never forgets <laughs> Some people say an elephant is really pretty dim oh, that he didn't smarten up. Now he better learn how to swim. Uh, Put the bricks in. Oh fuck. Come in here. Look at this. What? Mm -hmm. Look at it. Never mind, just look at it. Joey the Elephant Malvetes, out floating. Yeah, so what? Yeah. Elephant? Joey the Elephant? Joey the Elephant, Bo Winkle the Moose, Felix the Cat. So what? These guys always have names like that. Opens his big fat trunk, gets quite a dunk, doesn't smarten up. Does that not ring a bell? Huh? Do you even fucking pay attention when I'm singing? Oh. Hey, that's funny, huh? The night before, Jimmy shoes, extra set of knees, legs broken. Hey, that's funny too. That's funny? How is this funny? Are you not getting the picture, okay? I am sending out some kind of signal. All right? I'm getting I'm getting the fucking message out. What the fuck are you talking about? Do I have to hit you a fucking shot to the throat? Samantha is using me to send instructions to his fucking guys. Oh god. Oh, my God. This is sad. This is just sad. It's pathetic. It's tragic to see you like this. Not as a manager, but as a friend. Are you really that self-important that you think your little songs uh, my are are running the local mob scene? Oh, how mighty have the fallen. No, it's, it's how the mighty have fallen, you ding-dong. Whatever. It just saddens me to see this kind of delusional behavior here on the eve of your comeback. I understand, though. It's too much of a coincidence. This is what's known as it's... fear of success. I've seen it before. I'll see it again. Why don't you fucking blow me? Hi, Lou. Hey, go to Mr. Samantha. Tell him... Tell him it is no longer practical for me to come to his place of business any longer. You gotta get me out of this. Out of what? Your life? Your comeback? Don't do this to yourself. Don't self-destruct, friend John. What about if he gives me another song? I'd say it's very prolific. You forget, forget that. New song went well. Did it? I don't care about that. I got a new one. Ah, oh, jeez. Some problem? No, 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 no problem, really. I mean, Mr. Smith, how come you write these songs if you never really want to hear them? 
All right. You've done good so far. I guess you deserve some explanation. My father all his life had dreams for me. Dreams of me going into the family business, which is singing. Singing? That's right. And it was in such an environment that I grew to hate the vocal arts. Everybody in my family sang beautiful, beautiful voices. That's really nice. It was nauseating. However, as time passed, and I've grown to mellow, as you can see, and while singing still remains to me a foul and problematic outlet, I find I'm not adverse to the creation of uh, interesting, sometimes humorous lyrics, as you call them, though untrained as I am. Kind of like an idiot savant, you might say. What the fuck did you just call me? It means genius. Genius. Don't blow smoke up my ass, Slade. They're just amusing, potentially lucrative, popular tunes that I've batted out. I find it comes relatively easy to me. The way that you may shit or eat a meal. And it's in that spirit that I'm giving you yet another new song. <laughs> well, you see, that's what I'm saying. It's like I hardly get a chance to work up even one of these delightful ditties when you present me with yet another one, you know? It's kind of like a, an abundance of riches, so to speak. Too much of a good thing. Yeah. Why don't we give each song a chance to nurture and grow, you know? From performance to performance, we perfect each nuance, each subtlety, no. each... No? No. Look at it this way, Mr. Slade. Every one of my little contributions is like a little baby bird leaving the nest. I mean, would it be right to contain it? Bring it back again and again? No. No. We must give it flight. Freedom to soar forever on the wings of its own destiny. You do have a way with words. So, you too. What? Take flight, little bird. Now. Vamos. Yeah. Oh. Lou told me to tell you he won't be coming around anymore. So I said, pee on the rug one more time, there'll be no peanut butter on my balls when I get home tonight. You people are terrible, you're terrible. Hey, speaking of terrible, here he is with more songs about cruelty to animals, Mr. Johnny Slade. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You're very kind. A lot kinder than Red here, I tell you, I love that guy, huh? You know, I must be a glutton for punishment. Every night, I introduce a new song. How stupid is that, huh? So let's get it over with. Louise, this one's for you. Oh, me beard is green and me eyes are blue and Lester Redwood, I am stood. That's most of the time, I think. I'm seldom without to drink. Oh, let's hit our heads with hammers. Let's hit our heads with hammers. Let's hit our heads with hammers and we'll all fall down. Well, when Patty's walking Ooh, down the street, he's gonna be in for a hard thing. As someone grabs him by the feet and he yanks him so hard, he's on the That's most of the time, I think. Yeah. He's seldom without a drink. Oh, let's hit our heads with hammers. <laughs> let's hit our heads with hammers. <laughs> let's hit our heads with hammers and we'll all fall down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. No. No thanks, no paper today, please. Thank you. Hey, you ever play miniature golf? What if there's such thing as a miniature golf pro? Johnny! That is something. Johnny! Hey, stay away Johnny, from me. Johnny, you gotta no, see no, no. this. Keep that fucking paper away from Johnny, me. Johnny, you were right. No, no. No, nothing is right. Nothing is ever right, Jerry. Tommy Farrell, in the hospital. Mob ties, connected to Lloyd Dunnigan. Who the fuck's Lloyd Dunnigan? Is anyone home in there? Dunnigan, boss of all the Irish action, that's who. Rival of Frank, Mr. Samantha Giannini. How stupid are you? Be stupid? Stupid, huh? This is fear of success, Jerry. This is self-delusion, self-importance. Is that what it is? Excuse us. I'm sorry, Johnny, all right? I'm sorry. Look, I didn't know. No, 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 no. You got me into this, and you gotta get me. Another beer, please? Johnny Slade. Hey, that's you. What do you know? How's it hanging there, pal? Yeah, get in the booth. That booth? No, the booth up my ass. What do you think? <laughs> you gotta take my manager with me. You're a big boy now, Johnny. I've been telling them to leave the nest for years. This guy makes all my key decisions for me. I really don't go on sit down without him. We're practically inseparable. Just you. Mr. <clears throat> Dunnigan wants a word with just you. Don't forget what I said about taking care of that throat, Johnny. Hot tea with lots of lemon. Pleasure to have met you.
spoiled dinner? No, thanks. So, I hear you're some singer. Well, yes, I am. I mean, I'm a singer. I don't know about some singer. That would imply that I'm an exceptional singer. Although, I guess it could mean that I'm just some singer in the sense that I'm one of many singers. Well, perhaps I'm thinking some singer in a sense that you have what you might call unusual songs. It's just really run-of-the-mill stuff. I, I tell you the truth, I don't even know where this stuff begins. You know, those those tabloids. Oh, Christ. I hear tell you sing about things like, well, shoes, wet elephants, even an occasional funny mick or two. <laughs> I have to say, those are the likes of some pretty, pretty silly things to be singing about in a nightclub. Yeah, well, that's true, they are, but I never seen anything about a mick. Not only that, it seems there's a bit of rough stuff in there, too. All that hammering and drowning and eye gouging. Enough for a grand opera, I'd say. Yeah. It's really just a bunch of, you know... Well, you, you did write the songs, didn't you? They say Johnny Slade only does his own material. You're not going to try and tell me you didn't write it. No. I'm not going to tell you that, Mr. Dunnigan. Look. Look. It's just a bunch of silly stuff, okay? It's a bunch of silly stuff that I, I cobble together. Cobble? Cobble, yes. In a manner of speaking, if songs are cobbled. So it's just a bit of fun. A little bit of fun, is it? Yeah, you see? It doesn't get any more fun, Ah, you? that's good, that's good. Well, I'm glad we could have this chat. Never let it be said that Lloyd Donegan's not for supporting the arts. I'll see if I can send some business your way. Maybe we can get a mick or two in the crowd for you. Oh, just one more thing, Johnny. Who does own that club? Charlie Payne. Yeah, that's what I hear. If Slade's clean, why is he talking to Lloyd Dunnigan? Born Johnny Salino, family of seven, very blue collar, father worked in warehouses. Hey, don't you say this guy doesn't have a record? He doesn't. I'm there for you, baby, King Me, Soda Fountain of Love, The White Album. Funny stuff, Bob. The White Album? He recorded under his own label, Svelte Records. Not much ever came of it, still works blue collar in between gigs. Sad case. To this date, he's never played a single mob on club. Commendable. Well, he was never asked. Oh. I think he's involved. Doing what? Singing illegal songs? Forget it. We don't have the manpower to cover him, too. For the first time in Johnny's career, he's feeling a little success. But he knows he's working for Frank Giannini. And if that ain't enough, he's got the mix breeding down his neck. Jeez. I never knew the music business was so cutthroat. Now get the fuck out of here. No gig is worth this. <laughs> Frank has a little problem, you might say, in the form of federal warrants outstanding on him. That's the reason he's hiding in that stupid little room, Samantha. Well, that's quite a name, huh? Fucking genius. Such the little spy. I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. And he'd kill you if you left. So don't go losing your head with all your merry laughing and shit. I've got that distinct impression. That's why I'm leaving, toots. Uh, what are you going to do? Cross the state line? Ooh, can't catch me there. Knowing what you know? What do I know? I don't know anything. I'm just a singer of songs. I don't know nothing. When you get down to it, what do I really know? Ever hear the saying, don't shoot the messenger? And I'm just the manager of a fancy nightclub. Listen, Fabian. Don't play dumb with me. I was there when he had the big brainstorm. 39 steps is an organization of spies. For Christ's sake, would you come to bed and shut that fucking thing off? Shut the fuck up. It's the 39 steps. It's fucking Hitchcock, for Christ's sake. Hitchcock? Like Psycho? This is from his British period, you fucking dim-witted twat. They're coming to cart you away, you stupid jackass. Oh, well, that's it. Just sit there. They could carry the whole chair. Oh, well, maybe they'll have satellite in prison. Shh, just a second, a second. I'm having a fucking epiphany! I don't deserve this, but thank you. Thank you! He told the crew exactly what he was doing, how they'd get their orders. And then he opens a club and hires a singer. So desperate, so in need, so absolutely pathetic. Oh, thank you very much. That's real nice. And then with everybody's phone tap, he has no connection to the outside world except you. You're his voice. Come on, baby, check my hot merchandise. Look in my truck just to see if there's anything nice. If there's a ship and a good, you know I'm checking it out. The prices are low, there shouldn't be any doubt. Jimmy, we got to leave. I am the important. Hey, yeah, these boxes feel empty. You should have stopped bringing in. What the fuck are you doing? Straight to your heart. 
shot. But listen, I'll rip your fucking throat out. I love you too. Steady your prick. What's that? You got no money. Same thing. Same thing. How much you pay for it? Two and a half dollars. My man, have you seen these? Hey, look, I know I'm at the apex of a gangland war here. Relax, you dumb guinea. They're reviews. You're getting ink. Look at this. Look at this. They love your guts. And this is only the local papers. We'll start doing radio interviews. The whoa, whoa, talk whoa, whoa, shows. What is this? What is this? Co comic singer. Comic singer. They better be talking about Weird Al. What the fuck is this, Jerry? They think I'm a fucking comedian. Isn't it great? No, no, no. No, it's not great, Jerry. I'm trying to be a serious singer here. Well, the money's going to be serious, Pavarotti. Believe me, the money's no joke. I am a stock that, that, that people are laughing at. We'll get respect from record labels, real labels that we didn't make up. You'll warm up to it. Trust me. No, no, I can't warm up to it, Jerry. I can't. What else are you going to do? Quit? No, all I know <laughs> is I'm not going to spend the rest of my life singing this crap. What are you going to sing, then? Your own crap? Oh, what is that supposed to mean, huh? Your stupid songs. They were never any good. I never thought you felt that way, Jerry. I thought you kind of liked my songs. I thought they were interesting. Like a cow with a beard is interesting. They were always a little weird. You know where to find me if you change your mind. Honey cut star inside. You are very funny. I'm not really funny. You are so funny. <laughs> I'm not really so very funny, to tell you the truth. I'm just uh and very modest. I'm not really modest or funny. Self-deprecating also. Listen, can I ask you about the lyrics? I mean, where did you get these songs? They evoke such motion in me. Are these songs that your your mother sang you as a child? No, these are these are songs that um have uh, manifested themselves over a, a lifetime of experiences, and really that's really what my music is to me. It's just like that. Perhaps we could spend some time alone, maybe after a show, a one-on-one, -on -one, a very in-depth interview. Yeah, excuse me. Why don't you call my manager, Jerry Kaminsky, and maybe we can set something up. Who? Jerry Kaminsky. Uh, well, Mr. Slate, do you, do you like lingonberries? Sure. I I'll bake some muffins. That's nice. Okay. I I'll, I'll call. <sighs> Mass hysteria rules the earth, Beechwood. We're just ants in a whirlpool of incognizance. I, I don't know. I just brought you cigars. Mr. Samantha, I swear I'm not trying to be funny. Oh, Mr. Modest all of a sudden. Excuse me? Are you kidding me? This is great. Nobody's taking you seriously. This is very good for me. See, my particular brand of, of, of writing demands a very, very low profile. Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? I mean, I, I don't want people to take it too seriously. Uh, well, they don't. <clears throat> no, what's the matter? You're upset now? You're an entertainer, so entertain. There's nothing wrong with comedy. Some of the biggest comedians in the world have done comedy. Cheer up. Look, Mr. Samantha, I do my job. I do what I get paid for. How I react to it is my business, OK? It, it's, it's my business. You know, try to give some people a little bit of perspective, you know? Here, here's the new song. Now, Lord, get the hell out of my sight. Some people just want to be depressed. Slade! How they swinging, brother? Huh? Remember me, Billy? Billy Tool? Met the other day with a mutual friend, Lloyd Donegan? Oh, that reminds me. He asked me to give you something. You sing this tonight, what? right? Yeah, you just sing the song the way you do. Oh, man, I'm flattered, but I'm on the strict contract. Hey, right, listen, I know you are, but, but I want you to take a word of advice, okay? I want you to check out the audience tonight. You're gonna see someone there that I guarantee fucking Pete, when you see him, you're gonna wanna sing to him, you know what I mean? I mean, you're gonna wanna sing so bad it'll hurt. And I'm so sure of it, I'm willing to bet this money on it. Have a good day. Oh, fuck. Scotch. It's on the house, Mr. Slate. Can't you sing and then get blasted? Preferably in that order. Jesus, you look like you just ate a ghost. Yeah, read this. Just read this. Holy shit. Johnny, throw this out, you idiot. Do you have to talk to me like I'm Curly and you're Mo? I've already decided I'm not gonna sing it. It's the repercussions I'm concerned about. Well, who wanted you to sing this? Heard of Lloyd Dunnigan? 
Frank calls him his Lex Luthor with hair. You know, like Frank Superman. Well, it's a good thing you decided not to sing this in here. But what the hell's gonna happen when I don't? I never thought requests could be so dangerous. You know, I'm just saying it'd be a lot easier. Frank's getting too fancy with these fucking lyrics. You sit here half the time trying to decipher this shit. You don't know what's going on. Yeah. I mean, if it was just like, go whack Joe Blow and chop off his fucking head. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How's that? <laughs> Who the fuck is Joe Blow? Oh, I made him up, you fucking moron. Uh. Look at these two. Music lovers. Who the fuck are they? Fred and Ginger. Fucking feds. What do you think? Can you settle a bet? Maybe. I was betting you're the entertainment. Did I back a winner? Something tells me you always do. <laughs> I'm Johnny Slade. Mm. Who'd you bet against? Myself. That way I always win. Something tells me that, too. <laughs> Uh, all fire and no smoke. You don't miss a trick. Maybe I have exactly what you need. I prefer my own brand here. Do you mind um, reaching in and digging one out for me? <laughs> Do you see it? Did you get a good look? <sighs> You're gonna see it later too. Like any groupie, I have a request. I think you can guess what it is. No, we wouldn't want to see Billy Tool disappointed, would we? Just, um, just send it out to Angela. And don't forget to keep an eye on me during your set. How can I not? <sighs> um, I can tell by your uh, rather raucous laughter that you're having a good time, and I really do appreciate that. You know, because it's all fun, right? It's, it's, all, it's all in the spirit of fun. I mean, I, you know, I poke fun at this, I poke fun at that. It's just good nature. So sing already. I'm getting writer's cramp. Hey, 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 big fat Italian. Hey, 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 more pizza now. Hey, 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 big fat Italian. Hey, 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 you bust the fucks. Eat some more, you feeble guinea losers. While you're at it, drink your stupid wine. Tell me that you're all a bunch of boozers. And your mama looks like Frankenstein. Come on, come on, guys. I'm... What the fuck? You gotta believe it wasn't me. Ah! Your mouth's done enough overtime tonight. Well, they want to kill me. Oh, no. We're gonna kill you. At least get it right. No, no, no. It was, it was like that the fucking Billy Tool guy. You're what? Talking about what the you fuck are you talking about? Tone deaf fuck. Oh. What the fuck did you say? Tone deaf. Tone deaf. The fucking inability to distinguish one tone from another. Oh, I vehemently oh, disagree, yeah, mister. Billy huh? Tool told you to sing that yeah, shit. Yeah, it's some chick with a gun, man. There's no fucking fat ass in the river. I don't have a fat ass. Well, yes, you do. Oh, fuck you, then. Go ahead, throw my fat ass in the river. Who's gonna sing your boss's instructions then, huh? Oh, what's the matter? You don't want to sing? You want to audition? How about you? You? You, you simple fuck you? Yeah, go ahead. You can't fucking touch me. Especially my vocal cords. Without me, your boss is fucked. You're all fucked. There is no organization. There is no organization without me. Remember that. Like a fucking monkey. I understand your situation, but you do not again talk to my guys in a disrespectful manner. Yes, Mr. Samantha. I already told them you're a civilian. Oh, I appreciate that. Shut the fuck up. An invaluable artistic outlet for me. From now on, there is a definite hands-off policy in your dealings with me. You and I are in business together. Go ahead and speak. I just wanted to apologize. That's not necessary. For what I consider to be a very, very tasteless and off-color song. I've never been a racist of any kind my whole life, and I'm very proud of that. Forget it. As a long-time Italian myself, of Italian heritage, I gotta tell you, I was truly ashamed. I thought it was kind of funny. Excuse me? I thought it was kind of funny, as crudely drawn satire. I have to admit it cracked me up a bit. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? The ability to laugh at ourselves. You know, humor is... Uh, 
What's your problem with Yuma? I mean, what, what, is there something between Yuma and you? Some kind of like bad blood or something? Was your mother run over by a comedian or something like that? I like humor. I like a laugh just as much as the next guy, but I don't know. I, I think it's overrated, you know? I sing from the heart with love. Oh, fuck that. Yeah. Said, somebody said once that humor is the best weapon, so we're gonna give that fucking Mick Dunnigan a little satirical left jab. You realize I could be the one he has killed? It's a chance I'm willing to take. So now Johnny realizes he's not just a pawn. As long as he stays on Gene and his good side, he's untouchable. And not only that, Johnny feels now he can swing his balls around a little bit. He can improvise and take care of some of his personal business with his songs. That concludes the talent portion of our show. I don't mean to imply that Johnny Slade has no talent. I don't mean to imply it. I'm saying it. I mean, I've heard better singing at an animal testing lab, for crying out loud. We want Johnny Slade. You know, we're very fortunate to have him exclusive here at the club. I mean, no one else will. And besides, who wants to put that homeless guy out of work? You know the one I'm talking about? The one who writes his songs? Ladies and gentlemen, my good pal, Johnny Slade. Here you go. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much for coming tonight. The song goes out to Louise and all the girls. Hey, comedian. You funny comedian. How you gonna laugh when you can't smile? Comedian, Ray, you funny comedian, you shouldn't touch our Charlie, that's just vile. Mm. It's always fun yeah, till somebody's is hurt. Hey, hey, comedian. But you shouldn't put your this, hands huh? up under her skirt. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've been really great tonight, you've been darlings. Gonna close tonight with something a little special. This one is for Vicky and all the girls reminding her that they got to use the right tool for the right job, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> got to be the right tool for the right job. Got the just desserts for the right slot. Know you hailing from the Emerald Isle. Ain't gonna save you. What's an Emerald Isle? I think Frank is sending us to the Bahamas. No, you fucking dimwits. Tool, the right tool, Billy Tool, Irish. Hello. Oh, no oh. shit. Like a fucking monkey. Do the devil's work. Be some payback for the roguish jerk. What the fuck is roguish? Roguish? Yeah. I thought he said Polish. Roguish, you fucking moron. Irish talk. Jews talk Jewish, Irish talk brokish. Well, what the fuck do we talk? Italianish? out of my fucking mind. I just laid the lumber to Frank Giannini's tomato. You know what I mean? Oh, that's really romantic. How is he gonna find out if you're the only one who could see him? Lucky me. Yeah. Lucky you. That gives you some power. Power? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, what's the matter? You feel bad you can't see him? Crip keeper. Please. Miserable bastard. Oh, he does have some good qualities. About 10 million of them. 10 mil, huh? Mm. Oh, I see. Oh, so you're gonna grab the dough, you're gonna grab the 10 mil mm. and head off to South America, live on the lamb? Is that how it goes, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and I know where he hid it. For real? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you want? Mm. All I wanted to do was sing. Slate, don't move. I want a word with you. Hey, Lou, I... Uh... Shut up. Pretend I'm playing through. We don't see each other. Why, what's going on, Lou? Got a little problem. It concerns you. Really? What might that be? You gotta go to him. You have to ask him for us. The bodies. Four of them. We need to know how's he want to get rid of them. What the fuck? That song. What? I never sang that he should be whack. You never sang? Are you fucking crazy? How are you talking to me like this? There was nothing in that song that... Four bodies, for Christ's sakes? I thought they were just gonna beat him up, that fucking Billy Tool. Oh, <laughs> beat him up? You thought we were gonna get him after school? Like, maybe we'll go get him in the playground? What the fuck business is it of yours? This is a collaboration, okay? A collaboration? A collaboration! You write the lyrics, I write the music, okay? We're like the Rodgers and Hammerstein of organized crime. Rogers and Hope? Yeah, they write musicals, all right? If we're gonna be this new kind of songwriting team, I wanna know what the fuck each song means before I get into it. You should be happy I'm protecting you, you fucking lounge barker. I'm keeping you from knowing. Coffee? Please. <sighs> you have to excuse me, I'm a teetotaler. See, the thing is, I hate musicals. I don't know, I just, I just don't like them. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, people just start singing. <laughs> they just start singing, wherever they are, whatever they're doing. I mean, and I look at them and I say, well, what the fuck is the matter with you? I mean, what, what are you doing? Singing, singing in public places like, like it's the most normal thing in the world. You know, I mean, it gives me this really sick feeling right here. I just... You, Slade. You're everything I wanted to be. Here. I worked up a little number. See what you think. I don't know. I mean, my guys were never any good at disposal. No imagination. It should probably shit in bricks. I, I don't know. I think it's some of my best work. Not bad, not bad. I like the imagery. Yeah. What, what, what's that? Uh, imagery is like when um, the words make pictures in your mind. Oh, sorry, yeah, of course, yeah, sure, got it. imagery, that, that's good. But this, this is, this is very, very, very nice work. Thanks. See, I, I was thinking maybe, maybe something like this. Four winds. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Well, it, it, not the, you know, the tune came to me and I thought it, Oh, excuse me, that's... That's my area. Yeah, but I already got it to him. What is it, Eric? Oh, you have a gift for lyrics, okay? But that is my area of expertise, Mr. Samantha. That's my domain. No, no, come on, listen. Just, just, just listen. Four winds scatter to the four winds. Where the fates will take me, where do I belong? The bodies. We need to four know how's he want to get rid of them. Scatter to the four winds at your waste disposal, trying to find a home. Four winds, watching all my dreams crushed, all my clever schemes hushed, trying to find a home. Four winds, free of all the Enslavement, living under pavement, loving my new homes, loving my new Johnny Slade. We never miss a show. I noticed. Could we buy a cup of coffee, maybe? Oh, what a great idea. Yeah. Thanks, but I'm in a hurry. Not for us, you're not. Look, all I did was sing. We know that. 
We're not after you, Mr. Slade. But you know who we are after. We would like your cooperation. Look, I'm just an artist trying to get by, okay? What, what are you going to do? You, you're going to put me in harm's way? You're going you're gonna to have me wear a wire? No, we don't want you to wear a wire. All I want to do is sing That's songs. That's what we want you to so do. So just... What? Donald and I wrote a little tune. We know we're just amateurs, but hey, so's your boss. I think you'll find this... Now... O'Donnell wrote the lyrics. The uh, the melody is mine. It's kind you of an homage. Just let him read it. Just let I'm him read it I, first. I'm an idea of what it is. All right, know? all right. Sing a little. We'll be here all day. It's, it's called, called State's Evidence. Turn, turn yourself around. State's Evidence. Come, come in before you're found. Hoping for a better life. Free of misery. Help, Help us put, put your crew behind, behind the bars. I think they did a fine job, don't you, Johnny? But that's beside the point. We want to bring Frank in. I'd hit the charts. You want me to sing this? That's the preferred method of communication now, isn't it? Okay. It's a very, very good song. <laughs> I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Harmonizing the thirds is a, a very good choice for a piece like this. How about the lyrics? Well, I'm used to the very best right now, so... Yeah, your boss is pretty good. Oh, please. This is where you need a thick skin in this business, and believe me, I know. If I sing this song at the club, when Lou and the guys hang on my every lyric, I don't think, and listen, hey, you know, I could be wrong. I don't think they're going to take a chance on their boss turning state's evidence and ratting them out. You know, I think they'll think about it for all of about five seconds, pile into their cars and go throw their boss into a lead diving suit or whatever the hell it is that they do. Why the hell didn't we think of that? Plus, Mr. Samantha, Frank, he doesn't go to the club. He never goes there. He would never even hear it anyway. But there may be a better way. Mr. Slade, right about now, we are open to any help you can give us. Any. Well, look who's here. Johnny, my main man. Go away, Jerry. I'm busy, all right? Nice office you got here. I'm glad to see success hasn't gone to your head. What's that, your will? No, no. No, this is a new number I'm working on. Let me see. Why, you such a fan, Jerry? Come on, let me see. I don't need your expertise, Jerry. Tear it up. Burn it, destroy it. Are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? They'll know this isn't from Samantha. They'll know and then they'll kill you very hard. Oh, man. They won't know. They won't know, they won't have a clue. They're like Pablo's dogs. They'll do everything I sing, Jerry. It's a little scary. They're like, they're like these puppies with pencils just waiting for a command. Puppies with pencils? Puppies with pencils? Why did I come back? That's a good question, Jerry. Why did you come back? For years, Johnny. For years, I've worried about you. What, you think I could stop now? Really? Plus, it looks like I got us a record deal. Now your words are starting to resonate. I'm serious. Olympian records. You smelled a buck, so you came back. What do you want from me? God forbid I should see a dollar and a half of sticking it out with you this long. You're right, Jerry. You deserve it, you're right. But I gotta do this first, man. I gotta do it. You do this first, there won't be a second, Johnny. Do you understand? I gotta do it, man. Where are you been hiding? <laughs> hiding? I've been hiding. Why would I be hiding? Hiding is wrong. All right, all right, take it easy. I thought maybe you were uh, avoiding me. Because we you know. Because we won. We did nothing. We didn't do anything. <laughs> we didn't do anything. <laughs> Can I see it? No! Oh, not that, you not the song! No, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna hear it tonight anyway. What's the difference? It's the kind of thing that, you know, sounds better than it reads. Let me see the friggin' song. What is this? What is what? What is this? This, the song! He wrote something like this? Oh, God. I, I'm, in, I'm in shock. I was in okay. shock myself. Have some cheese. It's I don't very... know what this means. What does this mean? What, what does this mean? Have, mm. Of course I know what it means. It means what I think it means. What does what mean? Let me sing it with you. A duet. Johnny. Johnny Slade. What a nice surprise. <laughs> Let's make 
You can come in for your daily song tonight. You had me worried. <laughs> I haven't seen you in ages. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yeah, no, everything's good. It's good. I did it just slipped my mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, geez, Johnny, you know, slip like that, Minka, we could all wind up in the soup, you know what I'm saying? I'll be sure to catch a show tonight. Hey, that's great, you will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that serious or pretend? <laughs> yeah, no, serious. I already no. put all this shit on, you know. I might as well enjoy my freedom a little bit, you know. Did you recognize it? No, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw him. He's coming here tonight. What? Who? Who? Him. Him. Him? Him. Here. Tonight. Tonight? Oh, my God. You know what that means, don't you? You can't sing. He'll be pissed and he'll kill you. All right, all right. Relax. It's not that bad. What are you shit me? Oh, I know. You think if he sees me up there singing, he's going to blame you and say it's all your fault. Yeah. Then he will. Yeah. So here's the thing. Listen to me. Listen to me. It's important for us. We got to keep Frank out of here. When you say let's keep him out. Oh my god. Oh my god, it, it, it's like you really do want me to sing with you. Yeah, I do. Would you look at this crowd? Would you look? They would have ate us up. All right, McDonald. Let's just shine in our chosen area of law enforcement, shall we? Law enforcement's stupid. Fuck off. How did you recognize me? I thought it was pretty good. Never mind, it's not safe. What do you mean it isn't safe? It came in here to Johnny Singh. The place is lousy with feds. They must have got a tip. Come on. Feds, huh? Mm. Yes, that's pretty bad. You know, I really want to hear my song, though. I, I, I never get to hear my songs, Charlie. I mean, you don't know what that means to me. You know, you know what it means to the creative mind. Frank, it's feds. All right, did you get to hear him rehearse? How do you say no, that? I, How I didn't it? hear him, but I'm sure it's lovely. You're going to be proud. Yeah, right, so what's, you know, let me do it. What's the worst that can happen? Get the hell out of here. Feds, Frank. Feds. All right, okay, feds. You know, it just pisses me off. The government should be funding the arts, not throwing roadblocks up and. Come on. Yeah, okay. And now, here's a person I have the greatest respect for a terrific talent and a beautiful human being, my brother. Mr. Johnny Slade. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you all so very much. You know, I've been having a great time playing this place. Y'all been so wonderful. Hey, thank you. Uh, this next tune goes out to Donnie and Marie. At the bar, she's so beautiful. I feel the heat inside her purse will she shoot me with a glance or make it permanent ah, so long sweetie see you around thank you thank you tonight i want to wrap it up with something very special this goes out to lou alice steph Vicky, the greatest crew a guy ever had. Give it up, a time to give it up. An hourglass leaking sand, a time to fold your hand. And I will hold your hand as we walk through. The door. Through the door, it's time to get the score. More than we for. You sure we said give it up, not live it up? And I am not taking it in the ass. Right. Like a fucking monkey. For what we do. How? How could this have happened? How could my lyrics be so misinterpreted? You know, usually, no, 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 always, always. I'm dead on. Everything counted out to the letter. So how does fence a shipment of furs turn into give yourselves up and write out your boss? 
Yeah, it's boggling. Isn't it fucking boggling? Fucking boggles. Did you say furs? Yeah, I said furs. F U R S. Yeah, F U R S. You sure it couldn't have been maybe like something like, you know, confess your slurs? Confess your slurs. I know, I'm grasping. That would be so. You, know, you, you got good diction. It's the stupidest fucking crew, I swear. Well, except that Victor. No mention of him. Victor? Not a member of the crew, per se. I'm a special kind of soldier. Smart guy, a little fucking whacked in the head. But uh, I guess he's the only one who understood the song. Apparently. Here. What's this? Song for tonight. Song? Well, who do I make the dedication to? Send it out to charity. They'll know who they are. Well, for crying out loud, if it isn't my friend Victor, the Johnny Slade fan, like the proverbial bad penny. I swear, you still look like a hitman. What a coincidence, Mr. Tully. I just happened to be passing by when I was struck with an overwhelming thirst. Yeah. Irish bar, Irish neighborhood. One cannot predict where thirst will strike. I mean, you're a fish out of water. I am a horse without a jockey, a camel without an Arab, a soldier without a general. You sound disgruntled. Perhaps management is the cause of your stress. They are often to blame. What you need is guidance in Guinness. Let's be practical, friend. What I need is a job. Man cannot live on hate alone. My employer bears you no ill will. He only has eyes for Frank Giannini. A betrayer of his people. I have a vexing feeling about him myself. Would that I were privy to his whereabouts. I think I can say this in all confidence that Mr. Dunnigan would be forever in the debt of anyone who might help him locate the elusive Mr. G. I think I will have a Guinness. So, now everybody's looking for Frank, and his new song is a message setting up a meeting for Charlie for them to meet the next day. Holy shit! He's gonna whack her? He's not gonna whack his tomato, you stupid bastard. He's gonna get her, his 10 million clams, he's gonna hit the bricks for good. I guess it ain't the end of the world. Still got his kneecaps, huh? The thing is, Johnny doesn't see it that way. See? Being the romantic fuck that he is, he's got a bigger problem. Because if he sings the song, it's bye-bye to Charlie. And if he doesn't, he's gonna have to deal with Frank. <sighs> My manager tells me we're on the verge of signing a deal with Olympian Records. What do you got, 20 years to live? One thing I've worked for my whole life, busted my ass for it. Who cares? And I'm gonna throw it all away for a chick. Does this make any sense, Peach? What I mean, what, what is your real name anyway? Shem died in the backseat of a car, smoking a cigar. I'm all empty inside. I have, I have chest pains. This song, this one's a code. He's gonna meet her and they're taking off. That's it, man. I'm, I'm never gonna see her again. Change the time. Who? Hmm? Change the time. What? Change the time. What do you mean? The song. Change the time. The song goes out to charity. Right. On the surface, things are always so much better. On the surface, like a comfortable old sweater. If you follow to the letter, just like an Irish setter, we'll meet our destiny at 8 a.m. If you look below the lining of every silver cloud, then we'll pave the way into our... Why do you think that? On the surface, pave the way. It's Frank's paving company. I hope you're right, Victor. By this time, I read music pretty good. Charlie? Charlie, it's Johnny. Charlie? Oh my god, oh my god, it's Johnny Slade. How cool is that? Sorry, lover. Where's Charlie? She's right here, Slade. Where's Frank? And if you don't mind me asking, what the fuck are you doing here? If you don't mind me asking, what the fuck are you doing here? I came to take you away with me. What? Are you completely insane? If you don't mind, we'll ask the question. Would you shut up a minute, please? I was trying to make this happily ever after thing happen, you know? Happily ever? Sometimes you are such a moron. I was being romantic, you dumb bro. Could you two shut the fuck up? Just a minute! You mean you wrote that song? Of course I wrote it. What do you think I'm doing here? Can somebody fucking tell us where Frank is? All we want is Frank. He's not coming. I tricked everybody. Oh, you surely did, didn't he, Victor? Don't go there, Tully. What'd you do? I changed the time. 
That's it? And you take credit for the whole song? Frank and I are a team, all right? We are the greatest songwriting team since Rodgers and Hammerstein. He changes the time and he takes all the credit. Oh, baby, you know, there's the lyricist and then you got the composer arranger. Never mind the fucking music lesson. What time was he supposed to come? Must I expose her innermost thoughts? There's $10 million here. Where? It's hidden. All right, you let it go and I'll show you where it is. Otherwise, you're not going to find it. Cully. Let's split this and forget the whole Frank thing. Well, right now, that's the only thing that's gonna save this miserable fucking day. You go with Angela. If you don't return with $10 million, we shoot Charlie. Come back, come back, come on. Shit. I knew it. I knew you'd get the fucking time wrong. It's a good thing you did with this trap planned. You saved my life, kid. You believe I don't keep a gun here unless the guy is this fucking putter? Yeah. Take us. What? I never used a gun. It's either this or the putter. They got Charlie. Your share, Victor. Listen, what you did, I, I did think it was romantic. Put up your putter, Frank. Romantic. Well, you got a funny way of showing it. Huh, I was just trying to distract those jerks. You really shot that guy good. I mean, you know, you really, you capped him, as they say, huh? Rocket, rocket asshole! Clay, what the hell's going on? Just a, just a little plan I had. Just forgot to tell us? Yeah, just forgot to tell you. Johnny! Johnny! What the hell are you doing here? I studied every lyric and gleaned exactly what the song was saying. Johnny Slade, this is Rebecca Chase of Olympian Records. Johnny, I caught your set a few nights ago, and I have to tell you, I just loved it. Thank you very much. And that Thanks. duet was just lovely, really gorgeous. A duet? In some ways, was just being really loud. You had one group of men in tears, and not the kind of group of men you'd expect either. What sort of life is? is that right? I hate to ask, but do you folks think you can move your meeting over just a bit so we can tend to the bodies? Uh, sorry. Frank, where do you think you're going? Well, we're signing a record deal over here. It's important, please. Rebecca, this is Frank Giannini, Johnny's collaborator, and a really sweet guy. A pleasure to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> Who's this fuckhead? He sells used cars. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> always kidding. <laughs> Jerry Kaminsky, Mr. Giannini, and it's a real pleasure to meet such raw talent. All right. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's go, Frank. Have a word with Charlie first. One minute. Miss Chase? Can we just sing a little bit of a song that we've written for you? Go, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, here we go. It's called Stay. Listen, doll. Mm -hmm. It might be 99 years. You might not want to wait. You might want to do your own thing. Oh, no, 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 I wrote, I wrote the melody. You wrote the melody. Oh, She's a little nervous. I'll give you my car. Oh, Take flight, little boy. Thanks, Frank. Take flight, little boy. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, you got a lot of fucking balls, you know that? So you see, Sammy, now you know why Johnny Slate's gotta be on this list. What do you think? You're talking to a, a little girl with a bedtime story? 
Why are you guys breaking my balls? <laughs> Suit yourself, little Susie. I say he's got to be on the list. He's on the list. Three or something. Is that below Bennett? Below Bennett? Of course. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Bennett? enough of it, this list. Wait, wait, wait. I made up the game. I make up the list. It's Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, oh, and Jerry. Frank, Bennett. I'm not trying to be a prick, man, but the new tune just ain't doing it for me. You know, it just doesn't grab me. It's too on the nose. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't grab no, man, it's, it's, it's too literal, man, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it fucks with my music. Let me ask you something, Slate. What, whatever happened to, I do the lyrics, you do the music. What, you're an expert now? No, 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 Frank, I'm down mm. with that arrangement. That's down? Cool. You're down? Yeah, man, that's fine arrangement. That's worked out in the past, and I'm sure it'll continue to work out. Yeah. What's the problem? I'm just saying, I think this new tune, this new tune is just a little too literal. Man. Literal. Oh, shade and color. And color. You want some little kind of aura. color, Slate? Yeah. What red would be nice, wouldn't it? Frankie, baby, chill. Frankie, baby, let me tell you something, Slade. You are downright fucking lucky. My crew's still up in the fucking woods. Is this how songwriters are gonna work together? You gonna threaten me, Frank? Together? Yeah. Yeah. Like a fucking monkey. All the Vegas cats think they get it made. If they only knew they're missing, me and Johnny Slade. All the Vegas girls, they're just cooling in the shade. Thankful for his pastime, I'll be in Johnny's sleep. If he has a golden rule, it's to be nobody's fool. And nobody does it better, I'll be in Johnny's sleep. And if they do misunderstand him, don't misunderstand they're just him. trying to make the grade. Trying to make the Even grade. though they know they're flunking, I'll be in Johnny's sleigh. And we cannot blame those crowds. Well, I'm begging him to sing a few. We understand they're only human and they can't get enough. Well, no, they, they can't, can't get, get enough. enough. I know that Johnny Slade. I'd sing a whole minute. It's so nice to pop a cherry on the top of your cake. It's so nice to give you a little glass of milk, a shake. I want to squirt whipped cream all over your Sunday heart, my dear. Just step up to the soda fountain of love. I'm so happy just to have you come and sit on my stool. And every time I think of serving you with soda, it makes me drool. I will always be your precious soda jerk, my love. Just step up to the soda fountain of love. Will I fall in your trap if you press on my tap? Oh, I am just another sap who can run. Will you put me through hoops if I taste your double scoops? Or will you call off the troops and have some fun? Though it's impossible to reach over the counter from where you sit, I will always give to you a chance to make my banana split. No one says we have to play by the rules, my dear. Just step up. 